Hey everyone, Fawaz from Snowflake. In this video, we will talk about ML functions in Snowflake, a very easy way to get started with machine learning in a couple of minutes. We will create a notebook to ingest data from S3, train the model, and analyze the results. So, let's get started. So, first thing first is to upload the notebook into your Snowflake account. You can do so by clicking on left menu, click on notebooks and click on import once the notebook is imported change the status from star to active so for this example we're gonna use a bank marketing data set to detect outliers using ml functions in snowflake so first step is to set up the environment and this means to create or replace a database, a schema, and a warehouse, as you see here. So let's run this cell. Now we have the environment set up successfully. We can load the data into the notebook. So for this example, I'm using data stored on S3. So I will create an external stage and load the data from external stage into a table. So let's run this cell. So as you can see, we see your results here is in the status is loaded and we have 41,000 rows inside the table. So let's just make sure we can query the data and I'm gonna select a first 10 rows in this table. So let's run this statement. As you can see, we have first 10 rows and we have all the columns. Now we can proceed to build anomaly detection model. Now in order to build anomaly detection model, we need to create a view containing our training data. As you see here, so let's run this cell. And as you can see, this sample here had 38,958 rows. Now, once we have the training data set, we can proceed to create a view for the inference, which is the difference between the training data set and the whole data set. So let's create the anomaly inference. And we have 2,230 rows in this anomaly inference data set. Now, once we have the training and inference data sets, we can proceed to create anomaly detection model. Now, to create anomaly detection model, we can use anomaly detection function inside Snowflake. So in order to do this, we need to have a input data and we're gonna use the training data set. We need to specify which column we use for series. In this example, we're using education column. We need to specify the time series column and the target column. So in, in, in this case, we're gonna use duration as well. So this stage will take a little uh, bit time, so maybe a few minutes. So I'm gonna run it and we go back again. So after we created the anomaly detection model, and we trained it on the training data set and it took us just under two minutes we can proceed to do the inference so the inference step will be done on the inference data set we created in previous step and we will follow the same approach for training the model so for the inference we need to specify a series column in this case it will be education for the timestamp, we're going to use the timestamp column and the target column will be duration. For prediction interval, we are using 0.95 and the results of the inference will be stored in a new table. Once this has been done and took us just under one minute, we can query the data. So I'm just looking at the first row. In this case, we have a university degree series with 127 anomalies. 
So to conclude what we've done here, we detect outliers using ML functions. And in this day, we took a bank marketing data set in time series data format. And make sure to check the quick start on snowflake.com and also make sure to follow the ML functions documentation. There will be a SQL reference for animated detection. So try different options for your notebook. So here you have it, ML functions in Snowflake platform. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave us comments in the comment sections below. And I will see you in the next one.